All right, going to be working on the Spotify um, mini player today. I always pause at the beginning too because I'm testing my audio. <laughs> so I'll say like going to be doing or working on the and there's a pause so I can listen to the audio and make sure it's coming through clearly. All right, what's next? So last time I don't, I looked, I don't have any videos of me doing this. Um, I thought I did, but I guess I didn't upload them to YouTube and now they're gone because Twitch deletes them after a certain period of time. But I thought I would definitely have some on this, um, on like at least the front end part that I did, but I guess not. But it's not that much anyway, it's not a big deal. It's basically a couple buttons, and that's it. So one thing I needed to clear up, which I looked at last time, and didn't get anywhere on it, is... There's two main APIs that I'm looking at. I don't care about the ads. I don't care about any of this stuff over here. Embeds. Uh, actually, I should probably look at embeds. Add audio to your own website. window a piece that you like to highlight yeah I don't think this would work to get something like this to work would be kind of like hacky um, as far as playing a playlist <laughs> um, as far as I can tell from what I read Commercial hardware, no. So all of these I don't care about. So I'm focused on the web API and the web playback SDK. And what I'm trying to find out is, I know for a fact, because they say it, the web playback API um, is, where is that? Oh yeah, Web Playback SDK requires a Spotify premium subscription. So, what I'm trying to find out is I would like it to work without premium. I personally am premium, so for myself, that would be fine. This would be the way to go, because it seems very easy. But, um, let me see something really quick. But if this one works, um, I would not be opposed to this either. Um, if, especially if it works with non-premium, they do say premium or free, but I have a feeling the, um, some of these routes, such as the playback routes, um, I think I looked, did some searching online. I believe these are probably uh, require premium, but we'll see. So I need to test that out first. If it requires premium as well, I'll probably look into this, although something on this page is kind of don't like, um, hmm, it's interesting actually, this actually can work, let me think about this, let me get this reference actually, so if I can use this web API without reaching out to my own server, 
that would be what I'm looking for. I don't want to run a server um, for this, except for if I need to, which I think I will need to run a server for the authentication part, for the authorization stuff. You can use this imp implicit grant flow, um, but, and you don't need server-side code for it, but access to tokens are short-lived with no refresh token to extend them. So that's kind of annoying if the user would have to constantly authenticate every whatever, and I think that time is an hour. It's a guess. They don't say it here, of course. Um, because why would they? But, uh, just on some basic searching and I found something in this iOS that talks about their tokens. <clears throat> um, and it says it lasts an hour. I'm assuming it's the same for all tokens. So, yeah, that's not ideal. This would be okay. Um, but I'm probably going to, well, what's this client credentials? Yeah, client credentials, probably not what I want. Maybe I will use this to test for now, but uh, I'll probably be using the, the authorization code flow. Yeah. Long running applications. And the main part of this is you get a refresh token, which then you can use to get new um, access tokens. And so this is, this would be ideal. And I believe for this, you need um, some sort of uh, server side logic. Not sure though. Let me see something. Authorization code flow without client side only. Oh, right. Yeah. So this, I would have to use my application's client secret, which they give you, you register. So that won't work. It needs to be server side. Um, but that's just the authorization code flow. Once they have the access token, I think maybe from there, they can call the other. Stuff, the other endpoints from the client. So if it's just through for the authorization, I'm good with that. All right. First things first, time to test and see. Um, time to test and see if a free account I have a paid account or premium account and a free account. I'm going to see if first the free account can access these and if not, if the paid account. To be honest with you, I was almost 100% set on this. But yeah, I'm not sure now. Not sure.
Interesting. Okay. Anyways, um, first thing we want to do is log in. I think I'm already logged in. Yep. So now let's go through. Um, map settings guy. I guess the first thing I need to do is create an app. So let's do that. Dashboard. Log in. I already did that. My Spotify app. Yeah, I did this last time. Okay. And this is my free account, so. It's actually also not clear if I could try both. Like, does the developer app need to be premium and the user, or just one or the other? All right, let's start with this quick start. Okay, create a simple server side to the web API external. Mm -hmm. Register an application, authenticate. Let's open this up. Since I'll probably be using it anyways. Mm. And see what kind of uh, authorization or uh, authentication this recommend in case I do use this. Authorization, okay, authorization code flow. So it's gonna be the same for both, that's good. So we'll need server side stuff regardless, I think. All right, yeah, we will. Okay. Set up your account. Okay, register your application. Any application request data. Um, did I register it actually? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Actually, let's look. Where is that? I must have closed that. App guide setting uh, dashboard. How do I register? Back to dashboard. Create an app. What? What does this mean? Submitting a quota extension. Interesting. Okay. 
install it. Huh. Wow, okay. Well, I still want to know what they mean by registers, so let's look. An application. App settings guy. Oh, registering is just creating. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now that you've registered, let's set it up. If you're already confident. No, I'm good. I need the appropriate software, no JS, download. Uh huh. Don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. Oh, authorization code. Okay. I did this last time. So, WebPM examples, authentication, authorization code. Actually, let me see what I have in here. Oh, does this work? I doubt it. Nah. Okay. Got to the error section. What happens if I don't? Okay. Why is this not formatted? Hold on, let me see something. Oh man, I don't like how it does that. Configure default formatter. Prettier. All right, <clears throat> got a lot of stuff to update. Let's do that really quick. Ah, that's weird. Why is that not using this? Or is it? Why is it pushed over though? Or is that normal? Maybe that's normal formatting. I don't know. All right. Axios get. Um, okay, so this token I'm sure is no good anymore. It's part of the problem. What's going on in here? Do I need to do this again? All right, good. So let's keep going with this. So that was just to test it, but CD authorization code. So let's go in there. Authentication, authorization code. Open that up. What did it want me to do? Open the index HTML. Which does not open. Why doesn't that open actually? Is 
So file not found. What? Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Let's run it with live server, I guess. Might fix it. Yeah, there we go. I want to do everything in the incognito because that's my free account. Uh, login with Spotify. Cannot get slash login. Right, because the server is not running. So let's run that. Let's actually make sure too that I'm using the correct codes. So B6F789. No, this must be my premium. Okay. I guess. I don't care about these codes right now. They're not, they should be private, especially the secret, but, or only the secret really, but not a big deal. <laughs> Rotate them. Okay. And then, got to run this. NPM run app. Or no, N NPM run app, node app. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Cannot get login. All right, let's see what this actually does. Get on by D. Obtain your token, hold on, let me see this button. Button. Obtain new, to oh, login with Spotify. So we're going to slash login. Hmm. I mean, I know why it's not working. Is there a route here for login? Yeah. Um, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Does this serve? Anything? Oh, it does, it does. Okay, okay. All right, we're good. So I don't want to use live server. Let's go back to that. Um, where was that? How do I turn that off? Oh, here it is. See, I just need to go to localhost uh, 8888. And it's serving the public folder, so it should be good.
error during authentication. Whatever. Okay, there we go. All right, let's try this again. Log in with Spotify. Okay, there's my stuff. All right, we got an access token. I think. Is this longer than what's showing there? Okay, yeah, okay. So there's my access token. Again, don't really care um, about anybody seeing this right now. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and just paste this thing in there. Close that. Let's try this again. Um, no. Next. And. Erica. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what's up here. Error.data. Not dot data. I access the error. Let's see what the error was. Bad request four oh one. Four oh one. It's a bad request. Client bad request, right? Four oh one HTTP. Oh, no, it's unauthorized. Okay. Interesting. All right. Let's see if we can figure out why. So we want to do a get. HTTPS, API Spotify, player, bearer, access. Okay. Let's take a look at how this actually works. So we have an access token. Uh, this we can close. And then we want to use one of these endpoints. Let's go to which one am I doing? API Spotify V1 me player. So I'm getting this one, get playback state. Okay. Authorization. Content type application JSON. Do I need that? I guess. I'll throw that on there. It's not going to help, but at least we're doing it more properly. Okay. Authorization is the issue. Four oh one battery expired token. Wait. Uh, 
Let's hold on. Console. Log access. There's something wrong there. I could just log it out at the end. Trying to make it non super visible. I mean, I saw it, it's working, right? Yeah, it's right there. Uh, okay. Bear plus access. Console on access. And I comment this out. Comment both these out. So yeah, we're getting an error. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> um, let me share this right one. Yes, it is. All right, let's quit logging this out. So what's up? It is possible that um, it's because it's a free account. So I will on the other screen log in over here. Uh, I think I already tried this, but maybe not. Hmm. You know what? I want to do it. I also want to do it in incognito. So I'm actually going to close all of these, which doesn't matter that much. Uh, let me think about this. You know what? I'll do it in Firefox. Make it easy. What the heck? Mm. Got to do something real quick over here on the other screen. Okay. So Firefox, open that back up. Firefox is actually pretty nice. Is there any updates? No, it's up to date. Okay. All right. Let's make that a little bit smaller. Localhost 8888. Login. Uh, let's see if I can remember. Hmm. Interesting. Does this not take me to that other page? Login. What the heck? Hold on. Do I still have incognito open? Yes. 
Why does it not show up? That's weird. Alright, whatever. Okay, so this access code is from my other account. Let's see if this works. Wait, why is that so small? I don't know. Still an error. So there's something I'm not doing correctly, probably. Did I copy it right? Firefox. So it ends with a Y, BQ. Wait. Why does this... Okay, now... See. See how this stays the same? I don't get this. So, log in. Okay, this is like brand new. Okay, this is brand new, I guess. But yet it doesn't work. Access denied. This code thing? Bad request. <sighs> Error code, Axios, HTTP code, status code. Error to response. Data. That's what I'm looking for. User not registered. Ah. Is that the same dot status? 403 is the actual code I'm getting. Okay, so it's not a 401. User not registered. Oh, that's what I read before in that thing. Right here. Okay. Man, that sucks. <laughs> like, I don't know. This will be good for me. Anybody else, email me. I want to use it. <laughs> I'll add you to the list. I guess I could automate that, but it's just like, I don't know, man. I'm actually surprised it's so restrictive. Well, not that surprised. What are some other music streaming apps? For me, it's fine. <clears throat> but I didn't... Apple Music... Amazon 
Music Unlimited. Google. YouTube Music. I think really it would be Apple, YouTube, and Amazon. Just want to take a look at this for a minute. Okay. Actually, I'll just leave these. Cool. All right, so the user's not registered. Okay, first thing is register myself. Users and access. Add new user. Full name. Matt. Spotify account email address. Matt codes 01. Add. One assigned. All right, let's see if we get the same error. Or oh, we're good this time. Let's use this. Uh, this, whoa. There we go. Try it again. Permissions missing. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so that is telling me that most likely you cannot use a free account. But let's let's give it a shot. Um, artist, get artist. Spotify ID of the artist. Mm. Search. Um. <clears throat> Trying to find a good one to look at. Genres. Playlists. Users. Tracks. Alright, let's do Get Artist. That's a good one. Artist ID. So how do I find that? Um, 
that's the only problem. How about... Alright, current user profile. V1 me. Only. How about that? Let's see what we get for that. Response occurred. Nice. Response.data. Product free. Okay. So it's working. It's working. Alright, so now response not me. Oops, let's leave that there. Actually let's uncomment that. Let's go back to player. 401 occurred. Alright, I'm gonna take this to the other screen for just a second. And go to um I don't need that. Don't need that. Leave that open. For now, I'm going to do this on the other screen. Um, let's refresh this. Let's copy this into. Um, here. And I have to register. Uh, I have no idea what email I'm using, but we can find out. Does it have the email? Yeah. Well, I need it first, though. Let's see. Dang, I wish I didn't do it like that. Okay, cool. All right, I have the email. Close that. Let's clear this crap. Hopefully I'm not logged out from this. No, I'm not. Cool. All right. Um. <clears throat> so the email... Let's go back to where am I at? Oh man. Where is this? Oh here it is. I think. Yeah, my dashboard. Okay, add new user. Email also Matt. Okay, let's see if this works. Um, it's going to be on my other screen. Permissions missing. No way, dude. All right, let's try me. Response. So this is premium. Has my premium stuff. Yet permissions missing. Gotta be kidding me. Okay. So maybe. Why is it permissions missing? Now I'm wondering. Get playlist. No, no, no. Get what is it? Player. Get playback state. Hmm. I wonder I wonder if it has to do with the scopes. 
in here or something. Let's see, login, redirect, authorize, scope. What's scope? Scope, where is that? Why can't I find it? Oh, here it is. User read private, user read email. Okay, that's probably the issue. Okay. So, um, let's add the scope I need. And that's going to be... Mm -hmm -hmm. Does it tell you here? Go search for it, I guess. Hmm. That has to be it, right? Do they list the scope somewhere else? It would be nice if they put it in here, what scope you need, but I don't see it. So I'll have to find it somewhere else. Libraries. Hmm. Is this their own thing? No. So Spotify. Oops. All right, I'll be right back. Got to take care of something really quick. Let's throw this in there. All right, I'll be back.
Okay. I'm back. Let's take this off. So, what were we looking at? Spotify Connect, App Remote Controller, Streaming. Okay, that's probably not it. Oh. User modified playback state. Where is that? Oh, okay. Um, probably want all of these. User read playback state. I actually don't even care about these. What? Um, Why is this showing down here, by the way? User read playback state. User modified playback state. I think it's just space separated. User read currently playing. Yeah, these are the only ones I care about, really. Ah, uh, that's interesting. That is interesting. Where is this logging out, though? Hmm. Let me see something. Weird. Interesting. Okay. Um, back to this. Actually, let me look at this one more time. I wonder why it showed sometimes. I don't know. But... I don't want it to log that out. Console.log. Okay. All right. Back to this. Was it this? 